guys, today's video is going to be an empties. I wasn't going to film video at all, hence I am wearing, or hence why I'm wearing my pyjamas. Totally have been in these pyjamas all day. Um, I was just not going to do anything today other than I was photographing stuff on my blog because I go away next week and I was trying to kind of get stuff sorted for that. Um, and obviously blogging doesn't require any kind of makeup or regular clothing. So yeah, when I finally decided to film a video, I just kind of put my face on. Haven't even done my hair properly, I've just kind of blasted. It's the first time I've washed my hair. Um, for those of you that didn't know, I'm assuming you would obviously be able to tell this is extensions. Um, and least of all because I haven't really styled them. So again, wasn't really prepared to film, but I, the mood struck me. And if you remember back at the beginning of the year, I did tell you, and this is the reason that there's been so many less or so fewer videos this year um, because I kind of want to film what I want to film and film um, when I'm in the mood and when I want to talk to you guys rather than force myself to make three videos a week per channel which maybe weren't the best videos so for those of you that kind of have just started following me I used to churn out a lot of videos um, and I may go back to that in the future when I have more time but now I'm kind of carving out little pieces of time for videos here and there when I'm in the mood to do them rather than sitting down and thinking I have to film six videos for the next however long. Um, so yeah, little kind of update intro, hair, why I don't film so many videos anymore. Um, but yeah, I haven't really done anything with it. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm definitely going to do a video about this by the way, but I'm kind of impressed with them so far. I am considering having them shorter because they go down, they're even longer than, than you can see on camera and I think they kind of swamp me a little bit. Um, they're really quite heavy and it's just hot. Everything is so different because obviously I'm used to having super short hair. The maintenance is insane compared to obviously regular hair, let alone having long hair compared to short hair. It's just madness. So um, yeah, I'll talk more about them in another video, but I obviously I couldn't continue without addressing the difference. Hmm, we'll see. We'll see how this looks in editing, but um, maybe I should have done something to them before we filmed. Anyway, empties, empties, empties. I have a few things to show you today. As usual, it's a lot of hair care. Um, first of all, this, this I'll get off my knee because it's kind of dangerous. Um, basically, this was one of the Lee Stafford hair growth treatments. Uh, it's full of hair, gross. Um, not hair growth treatment, <laughs> to, be, to be clear. And I basically put in, um, along with the hair growth treatment, I mixed in some other stuff, uh, some like Tony stuff, to make my hair kind of a, a more platinum blonde. Um, so yeah, that's kind of why that looks like that is, but it is another Lee Stafford hair growth treatment that I've used up. I'm now on to my next one, but I'm thinking I'm going to leave it until um, the extensions are out. They only last about six weeks anyway. I'm going to save that for my real hair nourishment. Um, and it's not for hair growth, by the way, it's just the best deep conditioner. So even if you're not super bothered about growing your hair, I don't really think that it helps grow your hair. I think that it just helps your hair not snap, and so it appears to grow when previously it was just breaking off. Uh, so if you're looking for a really good deep conditioner, I would definitely recommend that. Uh, next I have this Essence Quick and Easy Sponge Nail Polish Remover. I think this is the second one of these I've had. Really impressed with it. I'm currently using one from W7 that I'm not so impressed with. I actually bought it, it, a little bit, bought it for taking on holiday with me and then I decided it was kind of bulky. This is quite a big container uh, to take with me. I can probably buy one when I'm there that's really cheap and then just leave it. So it's okay. Most of the things are the same. They've got the sponge inside and they take off your nail polish quickly. But this, this was okay. Just as good as the Bourjois one really. Primark one's good as well. Um, I have some L'Oreal Pro Keratin Refill samples that I used. Didn't really like these. The shampoo smelled really soapy, which I know it's shampoo, but I just really didn't like the smell of it. Um, it just really put me off using it. The shampoo was probably really good, but nothing to write home about in, in terms of kind of what it did to my hair and the smell I didn't like. Um, and the conditioner was super thick, like butter. I've had something like this before in a similar packaging but a full size, and it's exactly the same. Really, really thick, not something you want to use on fine hair or even really short hair. So I wouldn't choose to use that again unless I had hair naturally this thick and long. Um, next, I have Moroccan oil. It's taken me ages and ages to use this up, but I finally have. I would repurchase this again because it smells amazing. I know they're all full of silicones and all that, blah blah blah, but if it makes your hair feel slash smell slash look better, I don't really care what's in it. I'm not kind of a sulfate um, pirate when it comes to things like that, although with these I do need to use sulfate-free shampoos. Um, and avoid stuff like this at the roots, but I would use this as a treatment, I would use this as a serum-y kind of thing. I love it. It's quite expensive, but it does last a really long time because uh, a really, really little goes a long way. Um, next, I have two eyebrow pencils, which are basically the same thing. If you can get hold of this Maybelline Definer Brow, which is in dark blonde, 
um, try it if you like MAC Fling brow pencil. This is slightly darker. MAC Fling is my all time favourite and much easy, easier to get in the UK. Uh, when I go to Vegas this is top of my list to get um, quite a few of these to stock up because they are identical in texture, everything. Um, yeah, and if you like, I mean, they, even the tubes look almost identical, but if you like Fling, I would highly recommend you check the one out from Maybelline if you can get this. I will link an Amazon seller below. I'm really, really picky with brow pencils as well, and that is amazing. Um, I used up this Organic Surge Fresh Ocean Shower Gel. I was trying to save it until it got to kind of a more spring time, um, but I've pretty much used it up in time for spring. But it's so, so fresh. Obviously, it's called Fresh Ocean Shower Gel, but it is really kind of... It's difficult to describe, but it's just a fresh scent, just kind of a real summery, something would you want to use on holiday. Um, I'd really like a travel size one of this actually, because it would be perfect if you kind of had a long day in the sun or something to use this. It's just that kind of scent. I really love shower gel from Organic Surge. Um, and lastly, a cuticle cream, of all things. One of those things like Moroccan oil that's quite difficult to use up, I think, um, because well, it, there's a lot of it and you don't need a lot of it each time, but I have used this up and it's Nail Teaks Cuticle and Skin Gel. Um, if you guys would be interested in a nail video, let me know, because I get questions about how I paint my nails, which they're not painted right now, but how I paint my nails and how I look after my nails all the time. So if you would like kind of a, a manicure video or something, then let me know, because I found some stuff recently that um, are kind of new discoveries for me that I'm completely head over heels about. So if you want to do kind of a painting video or just a care video, that kind of thing, yeah, keep me posted and um, I will see what I can do in that arena. But otherwise, that's everything that I've used up this month. Um, I had a little blinky light telling me that my camera's gonna die. Of all the times, I finally sit down to film a video and I haven't charged my camera. Fail. Uh, so I'm gonna charge my camera now so I can film some videos for you on Friday when I'm off. Uh, and then Saturday, we go on holiday. So uber excited for that. I will be doing lots of travel videos. Um, I have kind of what's in my travel bag, like what's in my carry-on, what's in my makeup bag, stuff like that, uh, as well as potential packing videos and stuff. And of course, I will be vlogging the entire time I'm there. So if you do not follow my second channel, it is Diary of a Spendaholic, which is kind of supposed to be the antithesis of Miss Budget Beauty. It's kind of my um, alter ego that is not so budget beauty. I spend more money over there. And if um, I have something that I feel is maybe not budget beauty friendly, it goes on that channel. So also I have a weekly vlog and while I'm in Vegas, that will probably be a daily vlog. So if you're interested in all that kind of stuff, make sure you go over there, follow the links below. Uh, and otherwise I will see you guys in my next video and I will try to upload more next month. I will make a concerted effort, um, but yeah, come September when Milo goes half days in school, whole different ball game. But until then, I kind of felt like I should pull back and take the time that I have with him while I've got full days. So yeah, I even took him to London for a, like a, a business meeting. How pretentious does that sound? You know what I mean, for a meeting in London. Because it was only an hour and I was going to be in London for the whole day. So I took him with me and I'm just kind of trying to spend more time with him uh, before he goes to school. But September, I'll be back in full force. Um, but yeah, my camera is lasting longer than I thought. So I will see you guys in my next video. And don't forget to check all the links out below. Bye.